During this phase of the yellow belt testing requirements, I'll be working on the mat work. The first technique will be the forward roll. Now I start you out uh, from a squat position or down on the mat. So by just squatting down, putting one knee on the mat, you'll notice I have my left knee on the mat, right foot is forward. What you're going to do is just reach out to the mat with the back of your right hand. You're going to tuck your chin in towards your chest and turn your neck to the side. From here, all you have to do is just push forward off the back foot and tuck and roll in a straight line, coming up just like so. Now you'll notice that my left foot is in step down, my right foot is palm down. This way I can stand up without the use of my hands. So I'll be standing up, moving back once again from that kneeling position, down on the mat, left knee is down, right leg is in front. You're gonna reach out to the mat with your right hand, tuck your chin to the chest, turn your neck to the side, push forward off the back leg and forward roll. Coming up, you'll notice I'm not using my hands. With my feet, I can push up to the standing position. Still working the forward roll. This time, instead of the kneeling position, I'm gonna have you take a step forward with your right foot and then just bend the knees from this height, tuck and roll. Coming right straight back up without the use of your hands. This way you can turn to the rear or to the side in a fighting position. The next phase of mat work will be the backfall. The simplest position to learn the backfall is to just sit down, like so, put your hands on your knees, and we're just gonna rock back and forward. I want you to keep a, keep a natural curve in your spine by just rocking back and forward like so. You'll notice that I'm staying relaxed and my momentum carries me back and forth. Now what we're going to do is cross your hands in front. As you rock back, when the small of your back touches, you'll be striking the mat at this point. Letting your body kick on back, you'll come back up to this position. Now we'll rock back, strike the mat, and then come back up. Developing a rhythm. The reason I'm striking the mat with the palms of my hands is so the shock of my hands will help alleviate the shock of my uh, total body weight when striking the mat or the surface, like so. The reason I kick my feet on back is so my body weight will be kicked back instead of straight down to the ground, and it helps alleviate the pressure when hitting the ground. Once you've mastered this technique, then we'll go a little bit higher by coming up in a squat position on the balls of the feet. We're going to cross the hands and what we'll do is just kick our feet up into the air and then fall back a little more aggressively. Being sure to relax, letting the feet kick back to absorb the shock, then right back up. Crossing hands, right over left, and up. After learning this technique, then stand up, try to go just from a higher position. All you're going to do is bend your knees, pretend like you're sitting in a chair, cross hands, kick your feet out, fall forward, kick your legs up in the air to absorb the shock. Once again, bend the knees a little bit, cross hands, kick your feet forward, rock back, and stand up. There you have the two basic falling positions for yellow belt.